Good morning, Liberty Eagles, and a happy new year. This is Miguel Minus with this week's Eagle Express News Edition. We are so excited to be back, and we have lots of activities and events. Let's check in with Justin with Liberty Events. Take it away, Justin. Good morning, Liberty Eagles. Due to unseen circumstances, Justin was unable to record this week's newscast. This week at Liberty, tutoring starts today. Make sure you know what days you should be attending. District Library meeting will be held next Monday, January 18th. Check the Library Google Classroom for more details. Let's see what we are celebrating this week. We have a lot to celebrate this week. Congratulations to all of our AR Achievers, A Honor Roll, A B Honor Roll, and Perfect Attendance students. Your efforts do not go unseen. Keep up the great work. We also want to congratulate Liberty teachers and students on their Mayon efforts. Liberty is ranked third from all PSJA middle schools for the third six weeks. Way to go! A big congratulations to sixth grader Nathan Carter. He is our first Liberty Gold Reader reading over one million words. Our district held a Let's Do Math contest using Imagine Math. Prizes will be given out to five of the top middle school students. Three out of the five students that placed for the fall semester are Liberty students. Congratulations to Grace Castro in Mr. Grandos' class, Valeria Tiquet and Jasmine Gower in Mrs. Castaneda's class. The spring semester contest is already underway. Participate in Imagine Math for a chance to win a Amazon Fire tablet. Beretta is up next for your local news. This week's segment we will be talking about Texas standardized testing, AKA the STAR test. A total of $388 million have been awarded to Cambium Assessment and Pearson to develop and administer the STAR test for the next four years. Cambium Assessments will be receiving $262 million to manage the administration, scoring, and reporting of all student exams. Pearson, however, will only be receiving $126 million to develop and construct the tests. According to the Texas Education Agency, Cambium and Pearson were selected in a competitive solicitation that divided test administration and item development into two separate contracts, giving the specialization required for each. Although it has been argued that given the current situation of online learning, students should not be required to take the exam, while others believe that the exam is extremely important to better place the students in the correct classes in the future and therefore still go on. So what do you think? Should students have to take the STAR this year or should they be exempt given the current situation? Now let's head over to Miguel with the closing statement. Wow, interesting and compelling story, Loretta. This is Miguel Minas signing off. And remember, Liberty Eagles, stay classy.